let's get right down to business today. Most of you probably have seen our YouTube channel already, so you kind of know what this is all about. But let's talk about the contrarian investor. It is the winter of 2022, 2023. Okay, so I got to give you some context here. And so what's a contrarian? So a contrarian is one who kind of goes against popular opinion or kind of rejects the popular opinion. That's a contrarian. I certainly have a little bit of that in me for sure. So what's going on with the popular opinion today? Well, it's pretty clear that we've just had a very big market change again, right? One of these once in a lifetime deals in real estate, which now I'm starting to see this once in a lifetime deal a little too often in our real estate industry interest rates went up substantially. It's about time. So they went up substantially, cooled down the market, residential, commercial, across the board, they've cooled it down substantially. That's okay, nothing wrong with that. Now I know it's pretty, pretty tough on some real estate agents out there, but again, from a market point of view, this is most important. So what does this have to do with the contrarian investor? It means that we're entering into a time of great opportunity. That's what it means, you guys. This is what we're finally doing. When's the best time to invest? Is it the best time to invest when things are going gangbusters, nuts, and everything's zooming to the moon and prices are skyrocketing? No, that's not the best time to invest. Typically, the best time to invest is in an opportunistic market. And we're entering into an opportunistic market. That's what we're entering into. But many people have retreated to the sidelines. That's what they've done. They've said, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I'm not sure where things are headed. I don't know if we're gonna have a recession. I don't know what's going to be happening here. These rates, suddenly we went from these, what, ridiculously low rates into like moderate rates, normal rates. But then again, I've been around for a long time, so I've seen a whole spread of rates from 2%, 3% to 18%. So 6 7% doesn't freak me out so much. But the investor shouldn't freak them out either. Why? Because it's all about the numbers. You know this if you've been with me for any length of time at all. It's only about the numbers, right? That's what drives commercial investment real estate or investment real estate. I don't care if you're buying a duplex or a single family home. It's about the numbers. It's not about how cute the, you know, the living room is per se. It's about how do the numbers work? Is it cash flowing? Does my debt service coverage work? What's my cap rate look like? What's my return on investment, right? I'm not gonna get into those details today. It's about the contrarian investor going, well, all of you are sitting over there. I'm gonna go make some offers. I'm gonna go make some offers. And that's the key thing, you guys, is that we're entering into an opportunistic market. So when you run the numbers and you say, I like that property, I like that location, it fits my portfolio, I could use adding that on. In fact, as a real estate professional, I could use that depreciation to be added to my portfolio. A very important piece, appreciation, depreciation, right? I've talked about that before. So listen, this is what I want you thinking about. Be careful about just listening to the popular opinion, the sky is falling, everything is rotten, everything is awful, when instead you could be looking at this and saying, we have market opportunity right now. We're entering into a great market opportunity. Do you need to do your homework? Of course you do. Do you need to do some digging, make some offers, work with your agents, work with your brokers, find those right properties? Of course you do. But that's where we make our money. We make the money on the buy. And we're coming into that time now to be doing that. So listen, something to think about. I'm glad you're here with me. I hope you'll think about subscribing to our channel because I hope some of this information is helpful. I love sharing information with you guys. And I hope it kind of gets all of us thinking and talking about this. So. Thanks for being with me today and uh, look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you. Guys, I love real estate. I think you do too. I think you're gonna really like our channel, Results in Real Estate. We got a ton of content. I hope you're gonna check it out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Results in Real Estate.